NFL legal tampering period is in full swing, and the New England Patriots went crazy yesterday, and they went and got Jacoby Brissett, Wiggy. Yahoo! I mean, I... I, <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe there's a big splash coming. I, is, is there a big splash coming tomorrow well, once once uh, once everything is a okay well, and you can start signing guys, spending millions? Well, based on what Fitzy said, uh, that, <laughs> that that's a big yeah, trade coming. Because yeah, uh-huh. you got to start to look and you got to go, okay, in free agency out of the guys that, offensive guys that are available, who's a big splash now? I mean, there's the offensive lineman from the Dallas Cowboys, the uh, the the Tyron Smith, I believe his name is. Calvin Ridley still available, right? All right, Calvin Ridley. Wait, all right, so I guess would you consider Calvin Ridley to be a big splash, free agency wise? No, decent size. Uh, it's all decent. Right. It's decent, right? He's gonna get a pretty there. big contract. It's getting up there in years. All right, so if no. they. I don't think so. I think he's only like 29. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it. It's like it's a. It's like a. It's like a decent, decent splash. It's not like anything. It's not full on five hundred pound man cannonball, but it's enough to be like, okay, that moves the, you know, makes you feel good. It's I kind mean, of similar to think, Marquise Brown, Hollywood you, Brown. Do you think that there are free agents of a significant value who want to come to this organization right now? Like you have, arguably, the. Cheapest owner in the NFL, at least you have for the last mm-hmm. 10 years. You have uh, an interim general manager, and you have an untested head coach. I mean, I, it's going to be difficult, I would assume, unless you're going to uh, like overspend, overpay guys to get them to come here at this point. I, I mean, unless in Wiggy... Correct me if I'm wrong. If players are able to speak to Gerard Mayo and Gerard Mayo saying, hey, we're doing things different here in New England now. What you've mm-hmm. seen the last three seasons is not what we're about. We're going to change things up. If he's still telling guys uh, we're going to we're going to spend cash, we're going to burn some cash. Yeah. It, like, players don't are, care about that. But if players are able are players able to have that type of conversation with him? No, to, pl- to, to to change their mind on whether or not they would want to come to Players are coming here because of one reason and one reason Money. only. That's it. Are you it's cutting not a, a check? championship situation? No, unless it's a guy like, um, you know, who's an aging veteran that has made good money that's looking for like an Tyron op- Smith. That's looking for an opportunity. Uh, but I think he's he might even be looking for a payday. But somebody who's looking for an opportunity to have a chance of winning. Like when Revis came to the Pats kind of thing? Like it's just a guy who's looking for a ring and then yeah. he's out. Yeah. So a- you're in a position where you're going to – you keep bringing up – you've been bringing up T. Higgins since we started the show this morning. Cause right. you think they have a chance. You're going to have to trade for a guy. Yep. Uh, because he's going to have to go where he's traded. It's, it's mm-hmm. essentially what you're saying. Yeah. Well, There's, yeah. That's but you're gonna like T. Higgins. <laughs> T. Higgins wants money. He doesn't care where that is. He does not care. And most guys in T. Higgins' uh, world, like like a Calvin Ridley, you know, the only thing that they care about is their payday. And wherever that is, they're going. They're not turning money down to be like, oh, I want to go to Kansas City because I have a better chance of winning a Super Bowl. The guys that's going to Kansas City is the guy who's been playing 13, 14 years, the Larry Fitzgerald who's looking for an opportunity to win a ring. When you start to look at the guys that are available and that are out there, Calvin Ridley's the best wide receiver of the class that's still available uh, that hasn't been franchise tagged or anything like that that's a free agent. If you're the Patriots, you do everything in your power to go after a guy like T. Higgins, who who you know wants out of Cincinnati. He might not even sign his franchise tag and just say, you know what, I'm going to hold out. Because he knows that if I if I play under the franchise tag, which is $21 million, if I get hurt, think about all the money I could potentially be losing. So he's somebody that wants out. This is George from New Hampshire. Hello, George. Uh, good morning. Uh, great show, guys. Um, Thank you. I, I just want to say uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I remember when I watched the playoffs 
Flacco, to me, he'd be a big splash in New England, but I don't know how much of a contract he has with the Lions. Well, you have, I mean, you have Jacoby Brissett. So, I, right. I mean, I you're not going to add another, I don't think you're going to add another veteran quarterback. That's right? your guy. Jacoby Brissett is the guy that you feel like if the rookie isn't ready, then you go into the season starting Jacoby Brissett and saying, hey, listen, we're going to run the football, be smart with the football, protect the, all that kind of cliche things if the rookie's not ready. Or if the rookie is ready, Jacoby Brissett is the guy that maybe steps in for a couple weeks if there's like some type of injury that the rookie sustains. But you're, when you sign Jacoby Brissett, that tells me that number three, you're taking a quarterback, right. and that's, that's that's one thing that you have determined, which is the fact that you went out and signed Jacoby Brissett. Right, means in your mind mm-hmm. they are absolutely signing a quarterback when when it comes. They're not moving down from the number three pick. No, well, it, because if you move down from number three, then you're going all right. We still have quarterback issues for the future. So then you're just saying, all right, now we got you're Jaco- kicking the can down the road. Yeah, now we got Jacoby Myers and whoever we put around them. Jacoby Brissett. Uh, excuse me, Jacoby Brissett. If you took Marvin Harrison at number three, maybe you could persuade me to say, all right, I'm taking Marvin Harrison at number three, and then I'm taking a Michael Penix, a Bo Nix, one of those quarterbacks in the second round, who you still view as the guy you want to be the starter, but you're saving, you didn't feel confident on one of the two quarterbacks that you'd have to choose from between Drake May and Caleb, uh, excuse me, Jaden Daniels, Daniels being the guy. Yeah. So you said, we'll take the short thing in Marvin Harrison, and then in the second round, we'll take that quarterback. And what's your guess at what's going to happen with Justin Fields? To that's I, I said the Justin Fields thing, Mac Jones set the market. If you're a team that you feel like, all right, we're gonna take a flyer on Justin Fields, what do you offer in Chicago? I think Ryan Poles overplayed his hand. So Ryan Poles, the GM of Chicago, wanted higher picks for Justin Fields and wouldn't budge. Right. And then the market wasn't there, and teams like the Raiders just went out and signed Gardner Minshew, uh, and Kirk Cousins signed and Baker Mayfield stayed in Tampa and and the Steelers got Russell Wilson and so now there isn't a market for Justin Fields anymore and now he's regretting it and saying uh yeah we haven't fully made our decision on if we're going to take a quarterback yet or not so we're going to we're going to keep Justin Fields in the building for now and now he's just screwed. And when you start to look at Justin Fields market you start to go as of right now New England's still potentially a landing spot the Denver Broncos I would say cuz they're, they're they they need a quarterback um some of the other teams, maybe um, Minnesota Vikings, right? They could potentially. Yep. I know. I know they saw signed Sam Donald, but he's not like it's not like he's not like they're going. Okay, he could potentially be the guy for us. Yeah. So, so you start to look at the market. There's not a lot for Justin Fields, and if you're the rest of the league, you know Chicago don't want him. So why would you give up much? But if you're gonna make your T Higgins deal work. Mm-hmm. You have to give them with the franchise tag. You have to give them a first round. Yeah, but you uh, give- not necessarily. Um, it, it it could be different. So you're thinking of the the uh, I believe it's the transition tag where yeah. another team can make an offer, but they have to give up a draft pick in the franchise tag situation. That doesn't happen. You can trade whatever you want because you could franchise tag uh, Mike on Wenu, but you're not going to get a first round pick for Mike on Wenu. But so it's it's more so that it, you just have to meet whatever price they want to deal. And I I would guess it might be a first rounder next year, but. Right. I I don't know that I would want to give up the draft picks I have this year. The wide receiver class is loaded. I can get somebody really good at 34, uh, if especially if I'm going to stay at three. The only way they trade for T. Higgins, in my opinion, is if they're trading down in the draft, and I don't see that happening. And most point. teams, when they do franchise a guy, and if they do end up trading him, they usually get a first round the back. That's kind of you know why it, why it is a team that doesn't come to a, a, a deal with him. But I I would give up a first round pick for next year for T Higgins. Like even this year, I know there's good wide receivers in the draft, but T Higgins is proven. I'm not. If you trade down, that is that is just stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. And you could have kept Bill Belichick to do that. Here's Eric from New Hampshire. Hello, Eric. 
Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Uh, what are we What are we doing here? We're okay with Jacoby Brissett being the one A if the rookie doesn't work out. The guy was a third or fourth string quarterback for us four years ago. <laughs> what, what are we doing? We're the Patriots for Christ's sakes. I. I'm oh my you. God! I'll hang up and listen to your comments. Hold on, Eric. Who did you want them to get? It, it doesn't matter. Anybody than a retread that we've already had. Come and on. I, but, but and there, nobody available. I'm not a see, GM. I know Jacoby Brissett sucks. <laughs> yes, but this is the issue: <laughs> is there's nobody GM. available. <laughs> oh my god! Well, there were people available if they wanted to come here, and you were willing to pay them. Shine. Yes, you would have had to pay Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, 180 million dollars yeah, for care. a 36 year old. Who cares? I care. I'm not going to pay that money for a 36 year old who's won one playoff game in his career. Baker Mayfield. Who's give, won one give, or two playoff games in his career? Give Baker Mayfield. You wouldn't prefer Baker Mayfield over Jacoby Brissett? Jacoby Brissett right. isn't starting a right. single game. It's right. the rookie See, quarterback. I, I, I think a lot of people. Okay, I, I then think, you better hit on that quarterback. But that's I the love thing. when you guys say that. But, that's but Baker was never leaving Tampa anyway, so he wasn't even a realistic option. Like, but, but well, it, it's it's not. I thought Wiki just said as long as you pay, they'll go where the money is. Yeah, they right, will. Right, but but the right. thing is, Jacoby Brissett. We need to stop with it. Like, but Jacoby, no one is. Happy if Jacoby Brissett stopped. Okay. No one. Myself, no one. Jacoby Brissett is a backup. Okay, so then the entire the future of the entire franchise yep. hinges on getting it right with that number three pick. Not That's, the number one pick. Nope. The number three pick. That is the that is it. Unless <laughs> okay. unless they draft uh Marvin Harrison Jr. at number three. Which they won't do. And, and they th- take a quarterback in the second round like right. Bo Nix or one of those. Right, and then whatever. you're still not going into it with Jacoby Brissett as your starter. You're going into it with that rookie from the second round that you took. No one, and I'll say this again, myself included, is happy with Jacoby Brissett being the starting quarterback. I'm not, and but whether it's Jacoby Brissett, whether it was Joe Flacco, whether it is Sam Donald, all those guys are the same. And who would you rather have behind a rookie quarterback that you're going to draft? Jacoby Brissett, a seasoned veteran who will will actually help teach this kid, or Bailey Zappi, who probably still just That's wants the job. What, nobody was suggesting Bailey Zappi. Like I, 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 I understand, but I'm just I'm making the point. Like who, like who else would you have wanted them to get to to shepherd this young quarterback that's better than Jacoby Brissett? There's nobody out there. You had two options, Greg. Your two options were. Going after Kirk Cousins and paying him money yeah. and going after Baker Mayfield mm-hmm. and paying him money. That's that's option B. Yeah, that was and, op- I, that's and option what I would A like to see them do. And option A would is taking a quarterback at number three. Yeah. They All showed right. you that they not going with option B and it's option A. Okay.